I am honestly surprised at how few people know about Prochadet. They're beautiful hotels that offer you great accommodation and views. In this video, I'm taking you to the most underrated island in all of Italy. This hidden gem is called Prochada. It's been featured in more than 30 films. I'm heading to Prochada from Naples, and if you want to find out more about this crazy city, click the link above. Welcome to the coast of Naples, where some of the most beautiful islands in all of Mediterranean are. Procida is the capital of culture for Italy for 2022. And before I started planning my trip, I didn't even know this island existed. A friend of mine who is a local Italian told me about it and I have been in love with this place. While many people know about the famous islands like Ischia and Capri, which are not too far from Procida, they've never heard of this island. And I have some good news for you. It is cheap, it is beautiful, and there's tons to do here, and it is really easy to get to as well. So what are we waiting for? Let's start exploring. My one day trip to Prochida started from the port of Naples. I got my ticket in advance, which is highly recommended, and it only takes 30 to 40 minutes to get there on the ferry. I am in Prachada and heading to the most beautiful viewpoint to start my day with an absolute blast. This is the panoramic viewpoint of Coricella. Now it is also an old fishing village and most of the economy of the island back in the day came from either fishing or shipbuilding. Look at that view behind me though. Wow. Getting to Prochida is actually quite easy. All you need to do is buy your tickets online, hop on a ferry from Naples and you're here in 40 minutes. It's super simple and easy. I'm doing it as a day trip, but if you want, you can explore it a bit more and you can definitely stay here. There are beautiful hotels that offer you great accommodation and views. They do have a palace here, which is pretty derelict as you can see behind me. So I'm gonna skip it and walk right back for the gorgeous views. Let's go. The neighborhood behind the palace is called Terra Murata. It has a really nice cafe from which you can have an amazing view. And it's just fun walking around because you get to explore all these local beautiful houses that have tons of flowers around. Yes, that is me speaking. And yes, there's no sound because I forgot to switch my mic on. But all essentially I'm telling you is that the land you see behind me is not Ischia or another island, but it's actually the mainland and is still part of Naples. I've been walking around for a good three hours now and I'm super hungry, so let's go get some food at the marina.
it is time for some delicious Italian food after all that crazy amounts of walking up and down. Most of the restaurants are at the marina area. I am at Coricella still and most of the food here is actually really nice and quite cheap. I thought it would be a lot more expensive but it's pretty reasonable. So I'm gonna finish this and then we continue on to the other side of the island. Look how beautiful this is. And obviously don't forget your gelato. After lunch, anytime really. Wife is perfect. Oh. I am honestly surprised at how few people know about Prochita. Despite it being like super Italian and Mediterranean, it's been featured in more than 30 films and a lot of novels are set here as well. It didn't get the same attraction or the same attention that Capri did. But look at that. And no wonder it is the Italian capital of culture for 2022. Let's go check out the old town now. If you want to find out some more exciting and beautiful travel destinations, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Walking around in the old town is quite fun. There's a lot of beautiful houses, pastel colored and really vividly brightly decorated. Most of the houses are decorated with bougainvillea or jasmine or both. I would definitely recommend wearing some comfortable shoes for this because yes, it is really beautiful, but there's a lot of steps and you will need to do quite a lot of up and down. It has become a little bit of a custom for me to step into any old church and cathedral I see in Italy and Spain because I really enjoy how richly they are decorated I am in Piazza Repubblica and I'm waiting for my bus to go to the other side of the island to Ciolella. I don't know why it sounds so funny when I say the Italian names. And by the way, the buses here don't cost anything, they're free. So you can take L1 or L2, both. This behind me is the village of Ciolella, which is on the other side of the island and it's equally colorful. You can see right behind me, right? So it's, it's not as elaborate as the other side, but it's still colorful and nice. And again, the way to explore it is to just go around and just walk around. There's cafes, bars, restaurants, etc., etc. So you'll have good food if you come to this side as well. What's good on this side is the beaches and you also get the sunset. So let's go check out a beach then. Being so close to the volcanic activity, the beach is grey here. But what I really like is the contrast between the beautiful blue water and the dark sand. And an even bigger advantage is that I get the entire place to myself. How amazing is that? This behind me is the bridge that takes you to Barbara Island. Sadly, it's close, so I won't be able to take you there. But I'm happy to spend the rest of the time at the beach here, which is actually really beautiful. It's black sand, obviously it's volcanic. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the time here. Maybe see the sunset or like sun going down a little bit because my ferry leaves soon. Isn't it incredible that I didn't even know about this island and I'm totally in love with it? I'm so glad my friend told me about this place and I got to spend a beautiful, beautiful day here. You can definitely stay longer if you wish. 
Next on my Italian adventure, I am heading to the Amalfi Coast. Yes, that famous, beautiful Amalfi Coast. So if you want to find out more, click the link above and meet me in Positano and Sorrento. This is Brown Boy Travels and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know in comments what you think. Do like, subscribe and share. And do reach me out on TikTok and Instagram. I post some interesting content there as well. So I will see you at another beautiful destination in the next video. Until then, you have a beautiful day ahead. Bye-bye.